so we're going to do a little short video. Uh, there's questions that come to us every now and then about how to adjust the uh, cross feed screw. Uh, the adjustment of it is really simple, but if it's adjusted incorrectly, it can let the cross feed kind of move a little bit and that will affect how uh, straight and smooth your slabs are. So when you look at the cross feed, basically you got two points of contact inside these bushings. This side is uh, a set of jam nuts, and on this other side, you got a lock collar. Now what we do is we lock down our lock collar first, and we like to leave a little bit of gap here so we're not binding against the lock collar when we start our adjustment. And then you feel there that you have a reasonably good motion, but you, you'll see that there's backlash. Now, when I turn it one direction, I'll get a little gap here. I'm gonna turn it back the other direction until that gap closes. When that gap closes, now I can go over here and adjust my lock nuts. So I'm gonna spin the lock nuts down until I just touch. And then I'm going to take my two wrenches and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hold the left ones fairly still, tighten the right one up, lock it a little bit, and then feel my adjustment. Now usually I take a couple of passes at it, so I still got some backlash. I can see it here on this side when I turn my handle back and forth that I probably got about a 30 second there. You can see that gap opening and closing. Again, I'm going to turn the handle so it closes the gap come back and uh, loosen my jam nuts and come up on it again. And I'm feeling the handle a little bit. To, I like a little drag because that tells me I got the uh, Got a good tight. All right, there it is. Need a little oil on this one. It's still dry, so we'll oil it. Make sure those are tight. And now I got a good snug cross feed. I'm not going to have any backlash in the cross feed there, so I get nice straight flat slabs. 